We have the conches, the period, middle, and inferior. We have the external nares, the internal nares, the nasal pharynx, the oral pharynx, the laryngeal pharynx. We have the bony palate and the soft palate. We have the um, epiglottis. We have the glottis. We have the ventricle. This thing's still sticky. Mm -hmm. All right, we have the fourth, so the ventricle, or, so vestibule. There's the fourth fold, or vestibular fold. There's a true fold, or, um, well, or cricoid fold. It's called a true fold. You have the cartilage of the trachea. We have the cricoid cartilage down here. We have the laryngeal prominence. We have the hyoid bone there. We have the nasal ala. So here we have the, the greater nasal ala. And then up here, there would have been more on the other half of it, which would have been the dorsal, the, the, the nasal dorsum, if you wish, of cartilage. And then, so this is the dorsum of the, nasal, of, um, of the nose, we say. Then again, you have your conche again, superior, middle, who has been displaced, and inferior, ethmoidal sinuses. We have the palatine bone and the maxilla, forming the bony uh, roof or the bony uh, palate. Okay. We have the incisor, the incisor, and a canine. Here you have the hyoid, the uh, centrum or body, lesser cornu, greater cornu. Here we have the thyroid cartilage, the prominence, the superior horn, the inferior horn. Here we have the cricoid cartilage, cricoid cartilage. Okay, and then you've got the uh, basically the tracheal cartilage which you can see is c-shaped we have the annular ligaments the crico uh, tracheal ligament which is extrinsic we have the crico thyroid ligament which is intrinsic and then from the thyroid to the higher would be in the thiohyoid ligament which would be extrinsic again then you've got the thyroid with gland this is a lobe this is the isthmus there's the thyroid prominence, there's a cricoid cartilage, there's the cricothyroid ligament, there's a thiohyoid ligament, and the thiohyoid membrane. Uh, here is the arytenoid cartilage, the corniculate is on top of it. If we took this apart, snap, you can see we again have the glottis, the hole, which was this hole when you put them together. My finger is down the glottis. The epiglottis covers it. You can see we have this epiglottal fold where we would have the, co the cuneiform cartilage. Down here is the corniculate cartilage. If we look on the side here, the vestibule would have been there. There's the false fold. There's a true fold. Okay. Then you have the lung, and you can see for so this one, you just need to worry about the lung. There's not a lot to worry about, but you can worry about the surfaces. We have the horizontal fissure, all right, or transverse horizontal is usually fine. We have the oblique fissure. Here we have the oblique fissure. So on the right, we have three lobes. On the left, we have two lobes. Here you can see the notch for the heart. So there's a cardiac notch or impression. You can see, if you look at it, you can see the indent where the cardiac ventricle is, the atria, and here's a notch for the aorta. If I put it there, you can see the aorta would fit right in there. So that's the aortic impression, atrial impression, ventricular impression, diaphragmatic surface or basilar surface, costal surface, which is also the next to the ribs, and the medial surface. Mm. It's good. Mm. 
All right. Uh, it looks to me like we don't have anything more here except that, well, you can see a bit more. But you can see again the horizontal fissure, the oblique fissure, the oblique fissure. You can see the diaphragm is coming down here and forming a diaphragmatic cruise. You can see the cruise there. And the diaphragm is coming down here, forming a cruise and a cruise. There's a cruise there, and there's a cruise there. While we're here, you can see the bifurcation of the trachea, and you can see this would be the cruise of the carina. Uh, then we go to the primary bronchi, and then into secondary bronchi.